All right, in this lesson, we're going to be looking at working with multiple spreadsheets. Uh, so the first step here, it says to insert a new worksheet and rename it Q1 Summary. So one thing we haven't really talked about yet is that you can have multiple worksheets inside of one document. So if we click through the bottom here, you can see that there's multiple different months put together in this um, Excel spreadsheet. So what we want to do is add another tab. So we're going to do that by pressing the plus sign. And then it will add a, a, a new sheet to the workbook. And this one, it's by default called sheet one. So we're going to give it another name by double tapping where it says sheet one down here at the bottom. We're going to delete that and call it Q1 summary. And then we can just select done on our keyboard when we're finished. All right, then it says move the expense summary worksheet to the far right. So we got to look for expense summary and we're going to move it all the way to the end of the list. So we are just going to click and hold down on that sheet and then we can drag it to the right. So you can see how it's moving back and forth across the months down at the bottom of the screen. And we're going to move it all the way to the right as far as it can go. All right, next step, it says move Q1 summary that we created earlier, and we want to put it between March and April. So same thing that we just did. We're going to find Q1 summary, and we're just going to click and hold on the sheet and move it in between March and April, like that. All right. Um, as far as I can tell, there's no way to change the colors of the tabs in this current version, so that's not something that I see an option for, so that is going to be it for this lesson.